busy day today. Just getting started. Honestly, I already started about two hours ago, but we're at Dumbo House right now. About to have breakfast. Um, and then got to go pick up some jewelry for Dre's show. Um, run around a little bit and then get there as soon as possible just so we can get the ball rolling on getting everybody dressed um, and getting everything moving for that. So my wife is calling me right now. Though. Hey, baby. Okay. It's breakfast, so cheers to Dumbo House, Masha. So good, it's every time. Need that. <sighs> Bro. I don't know how I'm doing all this right now, but today we have um, partnership with Soho House, which is where we are right now. Partnership with Volvo, which we were shooting a little earlier this morning, which we'll probably get some more shots as the day goes on. Then we go see um, Dre for his LeBron Airs uh, fashion show. It's his first fashion show ever. So he brought it into New York Fashion Week, which is going to be amazing. So doing that. And then after that, we have uh, a little bit of a break, depending on what time we get out of uh, the LeBron, LeBron Airs show. And then we jet over to um, the Georgia Room at the Freehand Hotel for Jackson's uh, fashion show at Midnight Rodeo. And that show I'm walking and I am, um, and I'm styling it. So we had fittings last night. <laughs> Quick little fit breakdown. Obviously, he's got to represent David and Goliath hat. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this, but if you don't, it's my brand. Um, Greg Lauren shirt. So shout out to Greg. He sent me this uh, in a package, like maybe like three weeks ago. It's the first time wearing it. Love it so much. I I, I don't have enough words, honestly. <laughs> like love this thing. It's it's so fire. The fit on is perfect. Um, there's no closures, which I actually enjoy because it, it just drapes perfectly the way that he designed it. Um, vintage, kind of Western shirt underneath. I don't even know the brand. Um, some Wrangler jeans with some paint on them because I'm just always doing something stupid. Uh, and then my uh, Justin boots, which were brand new when I bought them. These are not vintage. And uh, yeah, I just worn the crap out of them. So. Really good, really comfortable, and then obviously horse and boots on the jewelry always and forever. You won't catch me wearing anything else other than horse and boots. Well, that's not horse and boots, but most most of my jewelry is horse and boots. And then the the cardi with the painted strap. So that's me today. Um, definitely got a couple a couple of good fits for Fashion Week this weekend. Um, my week. I don't, because I'm working right now full time, I'm working on Ghost, I don't really get the opportunity to like do all of the shows and stuff that I want to go to, but since uh, I'm working full time, I do get to go to the parties and all that stuff in the evening, some dinners and stuff. Some of the shows are later, so you know, I'll try and schedule it out, but I got some bits planned for this weekend for sure, so we'll see how that goes. All right, about to head out. So house, thank you. Breakfast was amazing. Uh, we're gonna go to pick up the jewelry for Dre, and then run to make a quick pickup at Best Buy, and then straight to Dre's, probably with in an hour to spare to start the show. So let's get it going. It's taking everything in me not to go in and touch a matcha and get a matcha, but. I had one already, and I don't need to be freaking shaking. <laughs> um, but I love matcha, and them putting a chacha matcha in here is like, if I was still living in Dumbo, I, I, I don't even know what would happen. 
I probably have green veins or something. As crazy as that sounds. <laughs> it looks really cute. But I love matcha. It's like the best thing ever. It's so good. I know about Selection, but I've been listening to Selection recently more than I have ever in the past. In episode 578, which is what I'm listening to right now, it's on Apple Music, Spotify, all that stuff. That's what I, I am like. It's so good. It's just a playlist or a mix, I should say, because it's all curated and everything. Um, but Joe K, who's a DJ, is phenomenal with these things. I mean, 578 episodes, bro. Like, that's crazy. I mean, he has more, but this is the one that I enjoy the most uh, as of late. So I've been listening to this a lot. Got the jewelry package. About to deliver the goods. Um, I was, well, I'll talk about the jewelry once we get inside. But uh, basically, I think I mentioned this already, but Dre wanted me to help style. So I'm coming in, give a last look, lay some jewels on some of the models. We'll see how much we have because we have about 15 models. So we just got to make sure that we have enough stuff for everybody. Let me see if this is our entrance. So, bro. Where y'all doing fresh? Uh, it's from the hair and makeup. Bro. Okay, where? Where's everybody? Uh. We only noticed because you walked through and we're like, oh, he's here. <laughs> That's the only reason. I didn't know it was, but then uh, whenever I was walking, yeah, kept riding up. Okay. I mean, this is going to be a statement. Wait till y'all see, like, all the other elements that go into it. Though. I can't wait. Last guy right here. Walk. Um, put it across your shoulders. Actually, come find shoes for first please. Andre, this is Andre. This is Andre. Who are you? Hi. 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 No, we don't have time to play sick rock. say big congratulations and thank you to my brother Andre White for putting together such an amazing show as you guys saw backstage um, did a lot a lot of ripping and running to make this thing happen and this was just today you know we didn't get to see everything that happened beforehand a few days ago last week I'm on the phone with him doing all the stuff kind of remotely but to be able to be here and experiences with him was super empowering. Uh, congratulations, bro. Thank you. Thank you for coming, bro. Love you. Love you too. It's been, um, it's been a wild journey. It has. But, you know, the objective was complete. And I'm happy. Is this round one? Just round one. Just round Get one. back. This may have been a warm-up. Exactly. This may have been a warm-up. Exactly. Right. So, it's a, a, lot, a lot more to happen, a lot more to accomplish, but just had to give y'all a moment to meet the man behind the vision. So, here we are. Thank you guys for coming. God bless you all. I hope you really like the pieces. And, um, give them the Instagram and all that stuff. Much more to come. Instagram, Monsieur Blanc, at M-O-N-S-I-E-U-R-B-L-A-N-C, at Legrandairs. You can spell that out. L-E-G-R-A-N-D-H-E-I-R-S. Bingo. Peace. 
And they had a field day with these tickets, bro. It's crazy. It's, every car on this freaking road got a ticket. It set me up. Sorry, Volvo. <laughs> Wild. What's going on guys? Just finished up uh, the Le Grand Airs fashion show with Andre White. Um, now we're here at PA New York, which is actually my wife's boutique. It's a woman's owned, woman's clothed <laughs> um, boutique here in Meatpacking New York. Uh, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour, show you guys what's inside. her studio actually picked these up the other day and they're phenomenal <laughs> um, everything's so hand good. done limited quantities which I love so it's super sustainable yeah. we have a couple of other items from her as well <laughs> oh this vest is hers too again all hand done like the fabric choices and everything is like insane the weaving it's all incredible but here we are at Tosha's store she owns the space she does the buy and everything so just do all the merchandising. Um, so I'm here to just kind of organize a little bit, quick little break in between shows and such. Um, I have to figure out how I want to place some of this stuff because that's getting a little crowded, but figure out what to do. Alright guys, we're here inside of the store. This is my beautiful wife, Tasha Anderson Boone, the owner of the space. Hi, hi guys, hi Soaz. We are here at TA, a woman's boutique based in meatpacking, actually 300 feet or less away from Soa House Meatpacking, and welcome to the store. Yeah, and then we'll just do like some. And then, um, you need your pictures, can you change, please? That's not set the hotel. Oh, so you're coming with us? Yeah, come with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then while you guys are eating, I'm gonna run up, <laughs> change, come down, we'll take a picture of us outside, I'll come back and finish eating. Thank you. This is where all the magic is going to happen. So with this show, I have a lot more input, um, a little design work to do as well. It's going to be cutting up some stuff, kind of adding some distressing touches also, which I'm really excited about. Um, all the looks are very like Western inspired, skater inspired. Jackson is from Texas originally. Um, so. All of his experiences from living in Texas, born, being born and raised in Texas, moving to New York, spending time in Paris for Fashion Week, and getting his uh, inspiration from, you know, Kurt Cobain, Hedy Slimane, um, just all of, like the real deal concrete cowboys that have kind of made a stamp in the fashion industry. Uh, so this is his ode to that. Midnight Rodeo is the name of his brand. and. Um, He's really, really excited about what's going to happen. I'm also walking the show, so I will end up putting a look on, I'm sure, at the last minute. Um, but my look is already set and everything. I'm really excited about it, and I'm just happy to be here. So we're looking forward to everything. But they gotta make it tight though. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, 
this is what that jungle do. Nigga, this is what that jungle do. That jungle turn me to a monster. That jungle made me go harder. And then you go around this one. That jungle made me go harder. Baby, it's up. That jungle turn me to a monster. Yeah, thank you, thank you. That jungle made me go harder. So right now, uh, we're just kind of trying to figure out the timing and uh, the actual runway. So obviously, like behind me, it's on straight, which is very clear and linear, like it makes sense. But in the room over here, which you guys just saw a little earlier, we're trying to figure out, we're trying to map out the, the navigation of where the models will go to make it, the, make it make the most sense. And then they'll exit down here and then back into the room. So that's what we're working on right now. Five mark, you'll be halfway there. They'll be there. And then at the, at the uh, 35 mark, They'll cross this. Right. And what I'm saying is, like, I can't see the mark at all right now. Can't see it, can't see it, can't see it. I see it now, but I don't want, like, I don't want them to be so focused on making sure that they're hitting this mark that the eye is in the wrong place. Can you see me here? I can see you, yeah. I can see your shadow. so strong it's very professional which is this is all like this is how I like to operate this feels very good we're about to start putting the all the models through hair and makeup start getting people dressed Jack you good yeah good I'm just looking for Jason everybody this is Jackson Jackson what's up Ray, guys to how be are specific, you owner designer creative director of Midnight Rodeo the head honcho the reason why we're all here so thank you guys for supporting amazing. me first and foremost first runway show first time doing this you know, it's gonna be crazy, you honestly. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, we look—it looks kind of professional, honestly. It looks, so, it legit. really, thank you to Justin and everyone who helped me out. I couldn't be here without any of my friends, to be honest. Yeah. Like, everyone's been so supportive from day one. So, now we're here. So, um, I'm excited to show everyone the collection. Let's go. Yeah, Let's love go. you, bro. Love you, too, brother. Bag. Oh. I'm just trying to keep everybody's stuff organized. The organization is key. So, uh, just hanging up all the model stuff as they take their own personal clothes off so that stuff doesn't get lost in translation anyway. Anyhow, trying to keep everybody's stuff all together, you know. It makes it easy on the back end so that when it's time for them to change out, everybody knows where their clothes are and stuff like that. So, yeah, so make, also, let's make sure that. Before you walk out, I want to look at the sneaker laces because I, I hate when shit looks sloppy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's my OCD shit coming out. Like, if, if like the laces are like mismatched, I lose my fucking mind. You still got your makeup, right? Oh, no, it's, it's, it's tough. Here we are guys, I'm dressed, finally ready for the show. Uh, we're about to do a quick little walkthrough, um, but quickly just wearing this vintage blanket, which is sick. Um, Midnight Rodeo hoodie, of course. Midnight Rodeo flared pants, but they're tucked into uh, my Justin cowboy boots that I had on earlier. Uh, so mostly MR here, kind of keeping a little balance just to pull the look together. Really excited, really happy to be here. Um, and yeah, looking forward to it. You guys are gonna see it real soon. time moves fast but we don't recognize like how short 
certain things actually pan out. Like, two years ago, I wasn't living in New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, all this stuff is happening. It's like, I'm married now. <laughs> like, I, you know, had an apartment in Dumbo. Like, I'm now doing all these partnerships, getting show invites and all this stuff that I wasn't doing two years ago. Like, you know, I was still hustling and, like, trying to find my way into this industry especially in New York, you know, I had great relationships, but, you know, I was still kind of finessing in a sense. And now, like, I'm given opportunities to, to be present on my own name and not off of somebody else's, which is cool. So, you know, just to think about that, like, just two years ago, I wasn't where I am now. And I know that, like, if I can just continue to be grateful and present in that moment, in that experience, then I'll know that, like, two years from now, who knows what will happen, you know what I'm saying?